Yeah, sure. Uh, well, there'd been a lot of that in blues, early blues records, you know. Say she knows. Right? Um, if you include that in your definition of rock, then no. But if you don't, then uh, uh, some things Bob Dylan wrote were probably like that. ¿Cuáles de las premisas de tus primeros años son aún válidas hoy en día y cuáles han cambiado? Oh, I really only had one premise. I wanted to uh, combine the two things I really love. That's rock and roll with writing. And I wanted to write very well. And I keep trying to write better, which isn't good English, but anyway, I wanted to write better. And, uh, and more simply, uh, not, not use so many words. I always try to write uh, in a vernacular. You know what I mean? Uh, but like not using slang because slang becomes dated. So I, I, I don't use slang, but I try to speak in a vernacular so it sounds like the way somebody would talk to you and not use uh, a lot of too many words, too many words. Um, Sometimes it sounds like somebody talking to you, but if you slowed it down and actually spoke it, it really wouldn't. People don't, in fact, talk the way I write that they talk, but it sounds as though they do. ¿Qué tienes de músico y qué de escritor? ¿Qué valoras más en ti? I've thought about that, as a matter of fact. Um, I'm a musician adequate to my needs as a writer. ¿Te consideras mejor músico uh, que escritor o a la inversa? I don't think in terms of that better. I, I do for me better than anyone else could do for me what I want for the music. Nobody knows better than I do where the chord should go and how loud it should be or the right note to push the emotion. Uh, I'm perfect for me. Not for, not probably for anybody else.